Oh. Fun. I know. Thank you. What was pleasurable about being this character? Um, it was fun because he's a guy who, you know, the first one was actually asked me about the character. He's a guy who thinks he's more efficient than he actually is. Uh, his superiors uh, are convinced that he's an absolute failure and choose him because of that. He believes he's chosen for this mission because he's the best, most qualified and ultimately he's the, the most qualified is the one who's most likely to fail. And once he realizes that, that's a big moral dilemma at the end. And that's what was interesting about it to me. Mm -hmm. What about being inside his skin? Were there bits of him that you're like, say, he's kind of rock under? Yeah, he was uh, very much a loner, very much uh, not part of a, doesn't function well in a group, doesn't understand a group dynamic, doesn't understand trust, doesn't understand things like that. And over the course of the film learns to lean on his fellow man and learns that that can be a good thing. And you and have a pretty spectacular set of co-stars with you. you yeah, it was a true? motley crew, yes. They were uh, <laughs> Did they were high jinks abound? Uh, some, yes. They, uh, Edward Fox, you know Edward Fox, who's this very consummate British, yes, Edward Fox, fantastic British actor, is the biggest practical joker. Unbelievable, the guy is a riot. We had the best time. So uh, we did this one, uh, this one scene where we go into this, where we first meet Eddie Izzard's character is in a gay cabaret bar, and he's on stage, and all of the extras are all, uh, gay men, and David Birkin, who plays Jono, who's this guy here, he, uh, we wrote a letter, a love letter from one of the extras, and Edward Fox actually wrote the letter, from one of the extras to David, uh, just signed with a first name, but it was a first name, Sasha, so he didn't know if it was a man or a woman or what, and he got all flustered, and it was really, we kept it going for like three days, it was a great joke, and Finally, we had to tell him, and he was all upset. It was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Dag, never yeah, loved it in trials. Yeah, it was good. And what about, I mean, you must have a slight more sympathy for ladies now. Um, sympathy, I think that uh, I'll leave the dresses and lipstick to them. I think that uh, it's, uh, it's not my cup of tea. No. It's just so funny. <laughs> I look at it, and I just think I look ridiculous. It's so funny. It's, it's, I'm, I'm glad that the, 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 in the story, the audience is not meant to believe that I'm a woman. Uh, they're brought along for the ride of the sort of transformation. So I think that that is one less goal to accomplish in the film. And I think that was a wise direction to go in. <laughs> <laughs> and what about, like, as an actor, did this sort of, must have stretched new sort of acting bones or reached new terrain that you haven't? Before. Yeah, I mean, there was, there was, it was a quite active role. There was a lot of uh, running and fighting and jumping and punching and that kind of stuff. And that was, uh, that's fun. I, I, that kind of stuff is fun. I'm a pretty active guy, very outdoorsy kind of guy. And I, I, I like that kind of stuff. So say it's, I don't know, 50 years down the road and you're looking back on your illustrious career. Why are you glad that you took that on film? Um, I, I think that it's a good story. And I think it's told well. And I think it's a good cast, and I made some good friends. And it was a great experience. And uh, Budapest and Vienna are beautiful cities, and I had a good time. And yeah, you know, it's just, at the end of the day, it's, look, it's all just a, kind of a fun job. You know what I mean? And no one has to lift anything heavy. It's great. <laughs> and there's craft services. Yes. You can't fight it. Yeah. Well, I think it's delightful. I hope well, thank you. Absolutely. Nice to chat with you. Nice to see you. Thank you.